And here I am down at the little boat launch zone. You can see the tide is in fully at this point. I noticed last year how it kind of creeps up on you. Not a lot of fall color yet other than some of these staghorn sumacs are beginning to flame their annual bright red. part of the program. And here we are approaching the drawbridge. Interesting yellow berries. Classic drawbridge. I've been over it a few times in the course of my life. on this point. Like, what does that mean? Don't jump off the bridge? <laughs> the Commonwealth can be wonderfully stupid. So there. We made it to the drawbridge. 
The clatter of some little thing bashing against the safety rail. Coming up on the charming and quaint old Plum Island Airport. <laughs> that way to Plum Island and Newberry. This way to Duxbury after about a week's worth of hiking. Junipers. And another little spot where you can Put in your boat. Nice symmetry to it all. And here we have some signage to acknowledge the vastness of the great marsh that I keep yapping about. <laughs> I see the Commonwealth has its hand out to extract some money for sea for recreational fishing. The Commonwealth and the, con the citizens here are particularly ace at rentier activity. Rentier. Extracting rents scrounging money and seeking something for nothing. So they tell us about the Spartina, the low salt marsh grass, and the Spartina, that's the high salt marsh grass. And they got an exclamation point about that requiring a permit thing. They're serious. I'm not sure if they really have jurisdiction over seawater, but they'll find a way. Oh, this looks like it might have been another bridgehead or something. Oh, Strange little structure. I wonder what it is. Looks like a hay rick.
some kind of works to channel the boats. 